What's up, everybody? Happy New Year, and welcome back to another episode of Edible Knowledge. It's really good to see you. So to start off the new year right, I thought I would talk about the top 10 food trends of 2021. Today is part one. Next week, we've got part two. Are you ready? Let's get into it. The first trend up to bat, tofu. With more and more people looking for alternatives, tofu remains at the top of the popularity chart. People are discovering just how versatile the product is, and it can take on any flavor you throw at it. In just one block of hard tofu, you will find 177 calories, 5.36 grams of carbs, 12.19 grams of fat, 15.57 grams of protein. And you'll also find calcium, magnesium, iron, zinc, and potassium. Number two, chickpeas. Also known as garbanzo beans, chickpeas seem to be making a comeback. They're a good source of vitamin B6, and you'll also get thiamine, riboflavin, as well as small amounts of potassium and calcium. And there's so much that you can do with them. You can turn them into hummus, flour, falafels, roast them, make them into soups, and put them into salads. Next up, number three, plant jerky. Oh yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. Plant-based jerky is giving people who are looking for meat alternatives the option to consume meat-like products without the meat. The jerky is made from soy, mushrooms, kelp, and so much more. The fourth trend in today's video, food upcycling. For many parts of the world, food waste is a massive problem. According to treehugger.com, roughly one third of food produced for human consumption goes to waste worldwide, costing the economy $140 billion a year. And all that waste pumps out 70 billion tons of greenhouse gases annually. But the Upcycled Food Association wants to change all of that. Upcycled food uses ingredients that otherwise would not have been eaten, and it changes them into something else. For example, watermelon water made from unattractive watermelon, or regrained and their super grain flour that is made from the protein, fiber, and micronutrients left behind after the beer brewing process. And we're at the end, number five. Charcuterie boards. Artfully arranged meats, cheeses, artisanal breads, olives, fruits, and nuts, all on a serving board. So why are these popular? Well, they're highly visual, therefore making them insta-worthy. And people are getting creative and starting to think outside of the box. For example, think breakfast charcuterie boards and even candy charcuterie boards. And we're done. Tell me guys, what did you think about that top five? And if you're interested in the next top five, be sure to tune in next week. Oh, that sounded so weird, like a TV show or something. See, that's why you need the notification bell on so I don't have to sound weird like I'm making a voiceover for a TV show. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below, and hit that like button. And if you're looking for another best of video, click right over here where I give you my top favorite fitness YouTubers. And are you into boba? You know, bubble tea. You are, I know you are. Click right over here and I kinda like lay out everything so you know what you're getting into when you walk in there. So you're not like, hmm, what is that? Hmm, what is that? I don't understand that word. I got you covered right here. Okay guys, I'm Andre, that was Edible Knowledge, and I'll see you in the next video.